to you guys. I'm Robert Arrington. You're watching Deer Meat for Dinner, and I'm with one of the top Goliath grouper researchers in the whole world, Tony Grogan. We're out here off of Jupiter, Florida, catching them. We're taking fin samples, we're putting pit tags in them, we're measuring them, and the whole time they're staying nice and alive and healthy because we've got their gills aerated. It's going to be an awesome show. Thanks for watching. mission today we're out here waiting on a research vessel right now because we're gonna catch Goliath groupers I was just in the water free diving down and I've never seen so many in my entire life I will promise you there's over a hundred adult massive Goliath groupers on this little wreck right now we've got 10 bonitas in the box for bait and we're about to have the most epic tug of war you've ever seen between a man and a fish. It's all fish? Oh, we just got a bite, just got a bite. Got a bite for sure, for sure. Oh, he let it go, he let it go. Definitely, def oh, he just ate it again. Got him. Come here, boy. Oh. Oh. Here it comes. There he is, right here. Nice one. All right. First Goliath grouper coming to the boat. Wow. Look at that, y'all. By hand. Wow, that thing's a monster, dude. Look at that. Okay, so he's hooked right up through the top of the jaw. Now our research boat is gonna come in and get this fish and pull him up onto the side of their boat. I think this is a recapture because I'm reading a pit tag in there. Oh, yeah. He's going to blast off. Here we go. All right, you guys, that fish was 240 pounds. We took some fin samples and uh, let him go nice and healthy. That was a blast. I've never actually been able to handle a big Goliath grouper like that, so that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it. I know there's a lot going on. The audio is probably up and down banging, but this is uh, this is life in the wild side over here. All right, James, so this is what we're doing. Everybody at home, this is a simple but extremely barbaric rig. We've got a 20-aught circle hook, and that's about the perfect size bait. It's big enough that it sinks down on its own, and then we've got 
10 feet of this 480 pound seven strand cable. That goes to a heavy duty swivel and then we've got 500 pound test monofilament line. We're locked, cocked, ready to rock. Goliath, here we come. It's fun. <laughs> there we go. Now we're gonna watch him sweat. <laughs> Dude, I'm... Oh, watch your foot. Watch your foot. Oh, Holy crap. Y'all have no idea how hard he's pulling. Whew. They make that big run and it's just absolutely all you can do. This is a big one. It is giving him the go around. Woo-hoo-hoo. Oh, we can see some color down there. That thing's as big as a bus. That's the size of a bus, dude. Look at that thing. Whoa. Oh. Things coming up. Oh. And this is a bass of a fish. Look at the others following them up. This. Look at the size of this fish. Holy smoke! <laughs> Woo! Yes, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit! We got the big one, boys! Oh my god! Well, now we're gonna get this baby on the boat, do some really important research work on her, and uh, find out how important this conservation work is for this flagstone species of South Florida. Come forward and to the left. Here we go. Good. Good. Look at the mouth on that thing. Okay, start pulling. I was happy when you catching the baby. Very important to keep his gills aerated. That's how you, you know, that's how he gets oxygen. Keep his eyes covered and his gills oxygenated. This fish qualifies as what I call a gargantuan fish. It's over 200 centimeters long. It has the potential to be one of the oldest ones that researchers have ever caught. Really? Yes. All right, you guys. So after catching this fish, they're gonna let me put the pit tag in. And what I'm gonna do is right here in the flesh above, right in there, stick it in, pull it out, and then we're gonna make sure, okay, it's gone. It's in there for sure. And they just read it. There it is, you guys. They re they removed two fin rays off that fish. The reason is they're gonna age the fish. They will be able to tell through whatever research they do how old the fish is and the life cycle of the fish. The second reason is to determine how much mercury is in the meat. I really tip my hat to all the ichthyologists and researchers that have that have gone above and beyond with the Goliath grouper. And my older brother, Aubrey Arrington, he's, he's my favorite ichthyologist in the world. He's got his PhD from Texas A&M University, studied peacock bass down in the Llanos of Venezuela. He's my big brother, and I love you to death, Aubrey. Hey, we're moving water. Look at him, awesome release. Swam down like a champion. What an amazing fish. Hey guys, I want to tell you right now, I really appreciate you guys letting me come on board, work with you, and be a part of your research. Anytime, man. Anytime. Thank you very, very much. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. Captain Ed, thank you so very much. I really sincerely appreciate it. Swam right away. Hey, so you guys, I know you've heard this before, but Nate is who designed my artwork for all my original shirts. He's an art teacher from Utah. He's never done anything like this. I was like, pull the camera and get in the water. There's sharks and Goliath grouper everywhere. He's ball headed and he's got a big heart and he's flying back to Utah today. Did you have a good time? Oh, trip of a lifetime. Well, couldn't happen without you. Good deal.
I don't think I'll ever have you back, but I'm <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm you've been paid. an awesome. You've been an awesome guy. Sarah loved you, and uh, everybody. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Very seldom can I say it's something that I've done for the first time, but this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And it's been an absolute honor being a part of your boat and a part of your research. I can't wait to hear more about these fish. Take care, God bless, I love you, and we gone. <laughs>